Gotta have accessories. This is uh, the four inch, uh, 4.5 inch figure scale, approximately 1 18th scale. Um, these are all the accessories that uh, Inga and I made. We're going into the Yoda hut. Uh, little bed. Stool. Pretty movie accurate. Looked at a lot of pictures and figured this out. Here's the log table that he was sitting next to, Luke, that is. And, uh, the snake. There's a little bowl he was eating out of uh, right here and a little knife and a plate he was cutting some fruit I believe it was this stuff over here looked like a yam type thing he had a lot of roots and yam looking vegetables some more uh, of his dinnerware, I guess you'd call it. There's the pot that was hanging over the fireplace. There's a barrel there that he had that this thing here, this thing was uh, like a storage area that was hanging off of his uh, little fire pit. He had various jugs and storage bottles of various sorts. Plate there with some Dagobah fruit. And there's the little table that he had. He had a little table in the background. You could Catch glimpses of it in the Empire Strikes Back. And then there's my Yoda. It's a standard uh, Kenner figure, Hasbro figure, whatever. Modified him a little bit. Put a different uh, cloak on him. The head is off of... Uh, Power of the Force 2, I believe, series, and the body was off of another. It, it's kind of pieced together to make a more screen-accurate Yoda. Uh, I've got to still put the hump on his back. Yes, Yoda was a hunchback. And then this version of uh, Luke Skywalker from... The Bespin uniform, which is what he was wearing when he visited Yoda and Empire Strikes Back. So I'll show the Yoda hut with all these in in there. There's a few more things left to do. There's some of these. Uh, he had a lot of like herbs and plants hanging from the walls. So we got to make some more of those. Inga's got some good ideas on how to do that. Okay. Okay, we're uh, back with the uh, Yoda Hut from Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi diorama. I'm um, making slow but steady progress. I'm about two thirds of the way modeled on uh, the out exterior and interior using the MPC model. Or Ertl model is a is a foundation to make this very heavily modified, of course. Um, there's some shots of it. Standard uh, Hasbro Kenner R2 uh, four inch 
one eighteenth scale figure using a epoxy sculpt. Uh, it's modeling epoxy putty to to build this. It's a very hard. Um, it's a great product, easy to work with, easy to model, holds a lot of detail, very forgiving, good work time, and it hardens to pretty much like a ceramic finish. R2-D2 will be wired. I got a little jack, I don't know if that shows up on camera right there. And he'll plug into the little pigtail that plugs in, he'll light up. The interior. Show you this. So, my goal was to show the entire hut, uh, not just the front room, like sideshows. Um, they have a a larger scale Yoda hut, one six scale, but uh, they only show the front room. I guess. It, it would just be too big to do it in one six scale. So I chose eight, one eighteen scale, which is the standard uh, four inch uh, figures. And uh, I'm working in that scale, so it makes this whole thing a lot more manageable. It's, a, it's about 10 inches by 14 inches. And uh, I've got the back rooms modeled. Some conjecture and artistic license on my part since they don't really show that there's some uh, illustrated Star Wars cutaways that I used and some stills uh, from the production of the movie uh, unfortunately there's three interiors they sets they built and I believe three exterior sets that they made so and none of it matches so it, it's kind of a moving target so you got to kind of pick something and go with it and I think in a lot of people's minds they'll they'll see this and say hey you know that 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 makes sense the way you did it um, that that could be how it really was who knows you know anyway it's my shot at it so we'll see how it turns out here's the kitchen area Yoda was standing right here behind the counter here. There was a portal right there. And he was preparing food for Luke. Uh, there's a support pillar going to go right here in this spot that's left unpainted. And it'll go up and have kind of a bowl like, like this molded into it. Very ic iconic shot of, of the interior that it was a prominent feature that has to go in and some cross beams and there, there's quite a bit of modeling left to do there there's actually up above the kitchen area there was a loft that's shown in the movie you gotta be looking for it but there was actually a second story a little loft area so I'll get that modeled All the LEDs are installed in conduits. That's what all these tubes are, and they're molded into the wall. I can pull the wiring back up and replace an LED if it goes bad. Uh, there's the little fire pit, flickering LEDs, kind of a nice effect. There's all the furniture and accessories that I showed earlier installed. So you can kind of see how the final product product's gonna look. So anyway, that's it, the state of it at the moment. I will uh, be working on this in the near future and post up another video. Thanks for uh, watching. Stay tuned.